Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're back inside of our Minecraft Hardcore world. Wait, I hear an Enderman. Hold on. Where where is this Enderman? He might he might be actually below this. I'm pretty sure there's like a gap under here. But yeah, we're back inside of our hardcore world. I have a lot of cool things planned for us today, like actually doing this side of our base. We have to completely finish this thing, dude. I've had this base in the works for like the past five or six episodes. We gotta get this thing done. So I've decided to make the flooring quartz bricks kind of like the same as this thing. Oh, there he is. Okay, just just get out of here, please. Thank you. All right, patch up the hole again, and I think the Enderman is gone for now. As I was saying, we got our quartz bricks. We're going to be having it on this side as well. I need to grab some more quartz bricks because I don't want to be using all of my supply. So we're going to do that right now, actually. Let's grab up some emeralds and go trade for some quartz. Oh okay, yeah, and also that side of the base is gonna be like a trophy room slash like recreational room. It's gonna have our bed in it. I'm gonna do something with that. I'm not really sure yet. But I'm gonna be including our very first pickaxe inside of that room. I still have that very first pickaxe inside of our first original base back on day one. I decided to keep it and not throw it away just so I could actually have it inside a trophy room. I also have a cool idea for what I want to put in the very center. I'll wait until I build it to show you guys off, but I'll just say this. I used to have it on like an old multiplayer world with my friends a while back, and we saw it on Reddit. It looked really cool, and we decided to build it, and I think it would actually look really nice right here inside of our base. Alright, well, I think we're pretty much good enough for quartz. I don't know if I'm going to need more than this. I got to turn this stuff all into bricks. Alright, there we go. We got about two and a half stacks of quartz bricks. Now, I guess it's time to just fill this whole thing out. Okay, well, as you guys can kind of see here, I filled it all out, and for the lighting, I didn't really know what to do, so I kind of copied this, like, 5x5 five five or 7x7, seven seven, like, kind of cross. I don't I don't know what to say this. Cross. We've got sea lanterns down inside of there. I have to go craft some more since I don't really have any more right now, but this kind of looks whack, I know. I don't really know what other kind of lighting things I should do here, but I'll probably fix it later on if I find a better one. So I'm just going to go and... Oh, this is not in the right spot. All right, got all this stuff finished up and ready to go. I think now it's time to actually build this like statue thing. Oh, I haven't really told you guys what it's going to be yet. So it's going to be like a statue of like a player holding a sword on the ender dragon's head with like an ender egg. I don't know. It, it looks cool. Just trust me. I'll, I'll make this. It's actually really easy to make. I bet all of you guys, if you guys have defeated the ender dragon, I bet you guys can make it easy peasy. So I need some quartz. I need some stairs as well, I believe. And also some stone bricks. Can we re-chisel these? Oh, we actually can. Okay, good. Because I need these kind of chiseled stone bricks. All right, guys. It's time for me to start building this thing. So I started construction on this little statue kind of thing. It's actually really small. I think it's five or it's six by six. I'm pretty sure. It's really tiny. Construction went over to day 427 as well. Okay, so I'm looking at it right now, and I think I need to move this thing one block down, actually. Because his head is, like, literally touching the ceiling. I don't want that. There we go, finally got this thing done. I got my dragon egg chilling up there. We got like a sword here. And it's just it's just a sick statue overall. So full credit to the people on Reddit that um actually like came up with this design. I think it was them who came up with it. I will have a link down below if you guys want to go check that out. And yeah, it was kind of hard building it from just like the pictures. So I'll give you guys a little tour on what it looks like. I'll give you guys all the angles. So I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but like... That's kind of what the picture looks like. There wasn't really anything there, and I tried putting a block there. It didn't look too good, so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. But like, if you walk in and look at it, it looks pretty dope. Yeah, so now all we need is a dragon egg, and I forgot to get one of those when I got my elytra. I'm super dumb, but it's okay. I'll go back and get it one time, whenever I feel like it, because I really don't want to right now. All right, well, now let's actually make um, a little like stand for our uh, wooden pickaxe. So I'm just gonna place it right... I'll put it here for now. Yeah, I'll just keep it there for now. Now it's time to go back and actually grab our pickaxe. So yeah, if you guys did not know, my pickaxe is actually back here inside of my OG house that we lived in from like day one to day 20 or something like that. Long time ago. Yeah, we walk inside, we still got all of our stuff in here and it should be in one of these chests. Oh yeah, there it is, wooden pickaxe. I've only used it like twice or three times actually, just to get my first couple pieces of cobble. And then I never used it since. So let's put this thing inside of our base. We can't lose this thing. This thing is definitely a treasure item to us. All right, well got the item frames. Let's put this thing on here. Boom, we'll set it like that. And also I'll just add a sign right there just to show what this thing is. 
Okay, we got a sign there saying it's our very first pickaxe back from day one. Also, another thing I want to add is just like a... Maybe like armor stands of every single type of armor. I guess I'll start off with some leather. So I got my leather cap. We do not have leather leggings. Alright, now let's go find a place to put these. So I think... Let's do it back here. Actually, no. Let's do it toward the entrance. Let's do it right here. I think we could do one there. One here. And then I'll just have them leading up like that. And also these armor stands are actually entities, which means I should be able to place glass through them. So I have a cool idea to have some glass like go inside of these guys to kind of make it look like they're on display or something. So this is pretty simple. All you got to do is just push a piece of glass inside of there. And then we can add like a trap door or something on top. And I think that actually looks pretty good. Better rock condition will look a lot better because I, I hate that our armor stands don't have like arms because then they, they could be holding tools and all that kind of stuff too. Like come on Mojang, why can't you just make Java and Bedrock just have the same features? Because like Bedrock, Bedrock is cool in some ways. Alright, we got this stuff done, looking pretty good. I have some uh, quartz slabs on top of them. Yeah, I, I think this actually looks really nice. Yeah, it actually almost looks like they're on display inside like a glass case. That looks sick. Well, we're gonna take a break on this trophy section of our base and we're gonna work on something else. So out here, you can kind of see this pathway back here. I kind of started this last episode. I want to like make this whole area a little town, just a nice little town. Villagers can chill out and they can relax and hopefully none of them die. My villager, my farmer villager has not died yet. Oh, I gotta, I gotta name him today. Last episode, I forgot. My fault, guys. I, I just completely forgot. I was so focused on the mansion and all that kind of stuff. I didn't even remember to name our villagers. So we're gonna be naming him right now. So as you guys can see, I got a lot of like submissions for the villager's name and it was really hard to pick one. But I went with Brooks. So we're going to be naming him Farmer Brooks. All right, come here, Farmer Brooks. I'm going to give you a brand new name. Boom, there we go. I hope you like your new name, buddy. Thank you. So yeah, I'm going to be making a whole town kind of thing. And don't worry if your name did not get picked because I'm going to be doing this for most of my villagers, I think, just so we can kind of get to know our community a little bit better. I'll make the town feel like more alive and all that kind of stuff, you know. Oh, and this path, not gonna lie, kind of ugly, but I gotta incorporate some of, like, this stuff into it. Like, dirt, some gravel, just to make the path look more muddy and more realistic. But I'm not doing that yet, because, I, I don't know, it's kind of low priority right now, but I'm gonna do it eventually. Just letting you guys know. Yeah, I'm gonna continue working on this path. I gotta patch up this hole right here, it's kind of in the way. But I'm thinking of putting our next building, like, right here, probably. Right next to our farmer, like, mill kind of thing over there. And also, I'm thinking of doing like a cool little lookout, secret military base kind of thing in the wall of the mountain. I think that would look pretty nice. I hope I don't mess it up though, because if I mess it up, I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring it back to the original mountain. I just, I just love that like view up there. On day 431, I did a bit of landscaping and some like paths for our town. Alright, um, this is actually coming out to look really cool. It, th this took like a lot of like uh, planning and just messing around, but I'm kind of getting like a little path set up here. Don't worry, like, this stuff back here, I know this all looks ugly, but hopefully one time I'm gonna go back and just redo all the paths and just make them look a lot nicer. I'm gonna have lanterns on top of here, I should probably get some. Alright, lanterns, let's see how much we have left. Oh, five, okay, that's actually good enough. But yeah, I got some tall grass to add in just some, like, corners back here. Um, I'm gonna put lanterns, like, yeah, it looks pretty good, we'll keep that for now. Um, down here as well, I'll put one there. So just to provide some lighting down our paths, and also I think like some street lamps occasionally would look nice too, like right here, maybe a street lamp, something like that. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was doing here, this is all just a mess. But yeah, I, I really like how this is turning out, and also I think some like mossy cobblestone, if I incorporated some of that into the path, it would look really nice as well. I don't know how to make mossy cobblestone, I don't know if you can actually like craft it or if you have to find it from dungeons, but uh, I'll see, I'll see. But yeah, this took a long time, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. It looks pretty good. Yeah, like I said, just gotta incorporate some mossy cobblestone, give it some like old feel, and it's gonna look a lot nicer. Yeah, this path took me way longer than it should have, but I'm not too good at making paths. It's kind of why I just made all my paths ugly right over here. Yeah, I didn't really care about my paths back here, so I just just made them all one color. Oh, okay, hold on. So we're back here because I think we can actually craft this stuff by just putting cobble and moss together. So let's go and harvest some of this. Just gonna grab- Oh yeah, new recipes unlocked. Right up in the top right corner, we can make some mossy cobble. This is amazing. Yeah, mossy cobble just gives like any build- Oh, whoa, chill, chill, ow. As I was saying, mossy cobblestone gives any building kind of like an old feel, like overgrown kind of stuff. 
All right, well, I got a little bit of moss, and also I planted some moss on those trees over there. Oh, you can kind of see them start calming down. But yeah, just a little bit of moss on those trees so I can harvest them nearby. I don't think I'm going to need that much because I just need to make some slabs and maybe some stairs. So we should just be able to do this. Yeah, that gives us mossy cobblestone. That's sick. And we can put it inside the stone cutter and we got all of our mossy cobblestone stuff. I'm going to make that many slabs. Should be more than enough and I'll turn the rest in the stairs. All right, well, I'm going to work more on this path here. I think it's time for a little time lapse. Okay, so I've decided to make this path kind of go straight this way, kind of to continue like toward this mountain, and then to make like a little turn right here along this next building. Um, I don't know what building this is going to be yet, but I've just kind of put like a little boundary so I know where the building is going to be. Yeah, it's took like a long time, and oh, by the way, this, I'm going to build a custom tree here. It's going to be like a relatively small custom tree. It just like, there was like this empty spot right here. I didn't know what to do with it, so I think a tree would look pretty nice. Sorry if you guys hear Roman. There's there's literally a plane outside my house, literally like five feet away, I swear, it's super loud. Well, anyway, that's probably it for what I'm going to do for now, for this session at least, of like the path. Because it's kind of boring. You're kind of just like randomly placing some blocks, all that kind of stuff. And I also added some dark oak saplings, just to give some more like plant vibes. Because these, these won't grow, because these need a 2x2, two two. that's why I chose this one. Yeah, I'm hoping that this thing provides a bit of light at night. I know it won't provide like that much light. I just, I want this guy to be safe, dude. We can't be losing a Farmer Brooks over here, bro. But yeah, hopefully we can get a map down soon, because I think this stuff would look really cool on a map. Like, I really like the look of this now, and especially when there's that tree there, it'll, it'll just look epic. Let's check out this wandering trader. What do you guys have to sell? Absolutely nothing that I need. Ooh, tube coral blocks. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that, though. Oh, I just thought of something. I think a flower farm would be pretty nice. We can use flowers to decorate the path as well, and just flowers, are, we can use them pretty much everywhere just for decoration. I remember I found a flower farm like a long time, or like a flower hill biome a long time ago, but I completely forgot the coordinates, so I'm gonna have to go and search for another one if I want to do this. So I've decided that I actually want to do this flower farm thing now, and on your screen right now you're seeing is, well, I put my seed in the trunk base, and I found out that the nearest flower farm, or fl I keep on calling it flower farm, flower forest is like a thousand or so blocks away. So I'm going to have to prepare for another long journey. But this time I'm going to be doing it inside of the nether, which is going to make us get there a lot faster. I need to make a nether highway pretty soon. I'm really bad at doing all this like nether connections and all that kind of stuff, but I think I'll get it. It'll just take a while though. Yeah, for now I'm just going to go through the nether and just try to get to this flower farm. Alright, I changed up my mind. Instead, I'm actually going to build a nether highway kind of thing. I watched a couple YouTube videos on it. I think I understand now. We're going to give it a shot. So first, I'm going to decide where to build it. I think right about here would be good because it's going to be up in the sky. Because I still want this portal down here to actually be connected to the real nether. I'll kind of do it by this mountain actually, so it's out of the way. I'll just do it like right up here. Just to make sure that the two like portals don't link up by accident. Alright, I'm just going to build up to like pretty much max height. Almost max height. Alright, there should be plenty enough height. It's nowhere near max height, but I don't think I need to go any higher than this. I'm just going to build a little dirt platform for me. Alright, perfect. And now time to build the portal. Alright, well, I'm just going to light this. I'm not going to go inside yet. I'm going to go into the nether now and get up to the ceiling. I hope this works. I'm not entirely sure. 
Well, I'm inside of the nether now, and it's time to dig up to Y127, I think the video said, to get to bedrock. Alright, I finally found the block I need. I think it's right there. If I click F3, you can see that it says targeted block 127 on the Y. So all I gotta do now is just to build up to it and place a ladder there, ender pearl out, and we'll see this. Oh, I forgot that you couldn't. Okay, well that worked. I was trying to like charge it up and then throw it, but I, I didn't know that it actually just threw automatically. I'm kind of dumb. We're on the nether ceiling now, guys. This is sick. I guess I just gotta build a portal here and hope that it connects up to the main world. Almost done. Two more pieces of obsidian and now for the big reveal. Let's see if this actually brings us back to the right place. Oh, it does. That's epic. Okay, so now we spawn up here, and if we go down, let's see if we, like, appear in the right portal if we go down here. Alright, let's see if this portal brings us to, like, the main nether floor. And it does! Okay, everything is working perfectly. I'm so happy right now. In my first world, when I did this for the very first time, you guys don't even understand, bro. It took me, like, a full day to figure out how, like, why it was wrong and everything. But now everything is looking good, and it seems to be working. Alright, well, I'm going to gather up the materials that I need for this flower farm so I can go and actually build it. I'm going to be using Shulkercraft's design. I think I use this channel for the Guardian farm as well, so Shulkercraft has really been a helpful channel for this series. I'll leave his links down in the description. You guys can go check him out. Alright, well, this thing is about like 100 or 150 or 200 blocks away in the nether, so it's way closer than like 1,000. I should have got one of these earlier for when I went to the end and when it went to the like Woodland Mansion. Like This thing is just so much more efficient. Alright, I'm finally here at my destination. Let's see if this actually brings us to a flower forest, if I got my calculations correct. Um, does it look like a f Oh, it's a flower forest. Let's go, baby. We're here, and it's currently raining. Yeah, look at all these tulips. We actually got it. Pretty much spot on. That's perfect. Yeah, look at all these flowers, dude. And the birch trees look amazing in this biome. That is just so sick. We got a little pond over here, or like lake, I guess. It's pretty big. A lot of flowers to build our flower farm at. We could probably do it like in this area. Or we could do it over here. I'll, I'll find a spot for us to build this flower farm. Okay, so I think I found a good spot for our flower farm. Right here has some tulips. It has some of the purple things. You know, it, it, it's a good spot. On day 438, we started work on the farm. And then we finished it up on day 439. Alright, well, I think the build should be completed. Uh, we just have to hit this note block for the start. Let's see if this works. Ooh, it seems like it's working. We got all of our tulips, we got those purple thingies, did all grow in. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, I can build this thing in multiple locations too, because I think this place has orange and red tulips. This place has white tulips. Oh, it's kind of giving my game a little leg. Alright, this is probably enough. I'm gonna tear it off now. Alright, there we go. We got a lot of flowers from that. Let's check this out. Oh, we have 64 red tulips. We got 63 alliums. I, I probably said that wrong. Some poppies, we got dandelions, we got these thingies, we got those, I don't I, we got a lot of flowers. Pretty sick, I think we can head back now. Later in the future, I probably will come back and make some more of these things, because they're pretty cool. We can just get like a lot of flowers for decoration. Alright, I'm gonna grab a couple of these tulips right here, and some of these purple thingies, and we're gonna plant these all on our path. Oh, also I raised up my bed to stop the villager from sleeping on this bed, because he has his own bed bro, I can't have him sleeping in mine. I well, I'm just gonna spread out some of these flowers. Maybe I'll put one right there. I'll put a purple flower there. Just gonna spread these out because I like the look of them. All right, one more flower should go like around here somewhere, right there. That should be it. All right, but yeah, it adds a little nice touch to our path. You know, just some flowers. It looks pretty good. You know what, guys? It's time for another color of the wolf arm. I don't know what color it's gonna be, but I have a picture of all the colors like down in my like pictures folders so I, got, I gotta go check that out but it's time to make another one of these guys All right, we finished it up, boys. Actually, not quite, because we don't have the villager, or not the villager, the sheep in there just yet. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna do it later, because I don't really want to do it right now. Yeah, but that time-lapse was pretty short. If you guys want to make this yourselves, I hope that it was easy enough to follow along in that time-lapse. 
But yeah, that was brown, and we only have four more to go, I think. So we're almost done with this thing. I think the last four colors are white, light gray, gray, and black. I think those are it. And then we'll finally be 100% complete. I'm very hyped for that day. I know that a couple episodes back, I was not sure if I was ever going to complete this thing, but now we know that we will finally be completing it. Yeah, well, that's that. I hate that it's raining again, dude. Why does it rain so much here? Oh, and there's one more thing I want to mention real quick. So you guys have been commenting saying that at the Woodland Mansion, there were like diamond blocks or like secret rooms behind the heads. I'm going to go back there. Don't worry to go check that out pretty soon. But I can always make another highway up to over there. Since we have that another thing going on now, it's a lot easier to travel long distances. Alright, well, with all that out of the way, I think it's time for today's comment shoutout. The episode 21 comment shoutout winner goes to Scooter's Corner. Congratulations on winning this shoutout. So if you don't know how these work, I pretty much just pick a random comment from the previous video. It's just totally random. There we go, episode 21. You have your very own sign in the world. Oh, hello there! Yo! Uh, I literally just got a heart attack, dude. I was about to end the video, but what the heck just happened there? Dude, those guys literally just spawned out of nowhere. I don't know how there was lightning in the day, but I guess that can happen. Alright, well, I'm just gonna end off the video here, because I don't want my videos to get too long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.